Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shapeless Skyrim. My name is Tori. My name is Tyler. Today we are going to be looking at two kind of grim, otherworldly, um, maybe some melodramatic mods mm -hmm. to showcase uh, for you. And wow, what an entrance with that little, like raven right there on the side. the entrance. Oh, it's so good. Now, this mod is recommended by Ars Tenebros. Gibson Lotz, Christian Parecki, and this is the Grim Apothecary. I don't like that. I don't like the way it moves. I don't like anything about that. You don't like that little spider? What about what no. about this tree full of ravens? That looks great. It does what look great. What a beautiful set piece. It really is. Now, we've been wanting to look at this Scarecrow mod for mm -hmm. some time, but you know, it was always just too daunting to look at because it's a lot. It's it is terrifying. A lot. Yep. So what we're going to do is, uh, again, we're going to do what we know best. We're going to give you an overview of it. And I, I'm sorry, I'm a bit distracted by the skeleton that is gardening and wearing boots. He's got that thigh gap we all want. Uh, yeah, we're going to go through an overview of it and leave the larger kind of like nitty gritty details for you. Because just looking at this set piece, come on. Download it. What are you doing? The new building, the Burning Wick, is added just south of Treva's Watch, kind of in the uh, Iverstead region. So it's 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 not going to have a place there where you can fast travel, but it's pretty easy to find if you set a marker in this general area. Wow, Tyler, this makes me feel so welcomed, like I'm walking into my favorite Target location. Something about the skeleton in the fireplace is is highly unsettling, like more unsettling than it should be. More unsettling than the gardener? I don't I love the gardener. Like, I that love shit just too. turned me on. Yeah, he's this so is, fucking hot. God, the lighting is incredible. Is that a kitty? Yeah. I yeah, it's a... Mina the kitty. Oh my god. I love all of like the weird creatures and animals that have been around here. Like the overall design outside and in so far is just fantastic. The burning wick is a shop and includes a new merchant as well as a new blood alchemist bench. So this is where you're going to be able to craft all of, oh man, I think it's 18 new potions. Yep. Oh like boy. 18 new potions, like a dozen new scrolls, um, some blood grenades. There's human blood in a jar and you throw it and it's like a grenade. Ooh, that sounds fun. As far as set design goes, and look, we all know Scarecrow is literally one of the best out there, but, I mean, this is next level, Scarecrow. You've really outdone yourself. Oh, uh, who is this? Tyler, it's my goth GF. What up, Raven? Oh my god, it is legit. Goth GF. Love the outfit. So the new follower that we want to look for is actually going to be in the basement down here. So you just open that door, you pop right down here into Imara's Haven. Hey, Tyler, is this more welcoming to you? How does this how does this aesthetic sort of sit with Tyler? It's sexier. Not really sure. inviting. You no. just think the goth girl is going to do something to you down here. Yeah, something that's going to hurt but be memorable. Which honestly that's pretty inviting. So that's yeah, I'm pretty into that. So this is the follower, Imara, and she's down here working on what I can imagine is the Blood Alchemist bench. Yes, Tyler, you're correct. It is here in the basement at this very disturbing looking table. Oh, wow. There's just a severed head right there. With sure is, pal. Eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Does it talk? Is it kind of like Night at the Museum? Does it talk? No. And Ben Stiller's no. not even here. Honestly, more mods need Ben Stiller. That's, <laughs> we'd like to see more of it. That's kind of what we would like to see in the PS4 space is more Ben Stiller. Just environmentally, so cool. So like, good. Great yeah. lighting. Like, great design in here. There's the coffin mm -hmm. that Imara sleeps in. I mean, it's it's dark, but it like the mood is set so perfectly. And all of the little details of what is placed where, how it's placed, how it's resized, everything. I mean, Scarecrow really, really, like, this is, I got to say, as far as design goes, I think this is Scarecrow's best work. And I love every Scarecrow mod, and I love Scarecrow. Let me go through some of these things in the Blood Alchemist bench. Are you ever going to move? I'd like to use it. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need a lot of blood. Yes, so you need a lot of potions of blood, and some of these potions 
can only be crafted by vampires. So, Ooh, so in order to access Jan is some ineligible. of these things, yep. In order to access some of these things, you need to be a vampire. Um, these potions will level with you along with your alchemy leveling. And Fantastic. then there are offensive potions in the form of those scrolls. Like I said, the the blood that players can use as grenades. There's new enemies. There's new Justicars out in the world that carry new weapons. Bloodstone weapons, so that's why you were able to craft those bloodstones. Mm-hmm. New spells, and God, there's just so much. There's a there's a, a lot to it. So if you get this mod, make sure you give a thorough read to the mod description because there's a lot of info that you are going to want in there, and it's frankly too much to fully uh, wrap our heads around in just a, a short, a brief overview of the mod. But I do think that there are, am I correct that she's not the only follower, right? There are more followers? There are two other followers. So one can be found in the Hall of Vigilant, and one is atop the Solitude Lighthouse. Well, let's go, uh, let's go gather some more friends. All right, Tyler, we are here at the Solitude Lighthouse because I believe there's a gargoyle here, correct? Uh, we're, we're here to see a gargoyle. I love them. I love those boys. They're just so we freaking were, cute, you know? We were talking around town, and we are like, anyone know where I can find a gargoyle? I just and can't see where the find. They're so of- short stock these days. All right, well, pretty stoic. I don't know what I expected. Oh! Yeah, look at my fucking vascular-ass gargoyle. <sighs> so cute. Yeah, the dude's fucking tatted up soup to nuts. Yeah, I, I don't think people are going to let us into towns with him following well tyler maybe we'll go to some of the more progressive towns all right we'll go to some of the more liberal regions of skyrim where they're a little more accepting of people who are different and maybe a little more educated yeah that they tend to go hand in hand <laughs> okay so now we are here at the hall of continents in the college of winterhold to find a uh, special new workbench tyler what's it called what are we looking for so we are looking for the stone binders locus it oh is yep. In, yep. Here it is. That's a good looking piece of kit right there. I love uh, that. Oh yeah. You're gonna be able to make all your necessary uh gear oh, in yeah. this spot. <laughs> Look at all that gear I can make. Fuck yeah, dude. Well what you're gonna need actually is um it goes in hand with the new black justicars that are around Skyrim. So these are the people who fight for the Thalmor who have sacrificed their souls in order to gain power. They wield the bloodstone weapons, so that's how you're going to be able to get those bloodstone weapons, is by encountering the Black Justicars of the Thalmor. In order to use the Stonebinders um, Locus, you -hmm. need an enchanting of 40 or more, and we'll need to learn the secrets of the Stonebinders. And why don't you go talk to Nos or Nos? I just got Uh unstuck. Okay, he's got a book. Yep, take the book. Now read the book. So, Nas's book will give you a little bit of a lore backstory for the gargoyle, and it'll also tell you some next steps and give you this, the, the clues necessary to follow this path in order to learn the secrets of the stone binders. Um... It's a well-written book. It's long as hell. God yeah, damn. Scarecrow should just like literally just start writing books. I guess is is just because just start you're writing writer, the Elder Scarecrow. Scrolls books. As we said, the mod is huge. There's twelve. Like there's so many new scrolls. There's so many new potions. There's followers. Everything. Yeah, and though we're not going to be able to show off every spell and everything right now, there's. I mean, if if this is your shtick, you are going to be very into this, and you're going to want to go and explore all of that on your own. So, instead of getting into the nitty gritty details of it, well, we're just gonna we're just gonna tantalize you and uh, hope that you go and enjoy Scarecrow's fantastic work for yourself. Do you feel yourself being tantalized? I feel myself being titillated, absolutely titillated. I don't... can we say that? Ah. Uh. Whatever, Susan Wojcicki can eat a dick. That one they're I, definitely gonna. <laughs> that one they're definitely not gonna like. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we should get into the next mod before 
we talk about how we want to stab Susan Wojcicki. No, no, we're just gonna before we say anything worse. G- g- mod number two, goodbye. Bye. I mean, mod number two, go, go. Fuck Susan Wojcicki. Tyler, mod number two will take us to the Blue Palace here in the great city of Solitude. We're at the Blue Palace for mod number two, which is called Realm of the Ebony Witch, and this one is also suggested. It is by Dragon Blade Call L. Mm-hmm. And Boily. Thank you for those Boily. suggestions. And Boily, I'm going to start getting annoyed if you keep making such great suggestions. Boily, we're going to have to start paying you. And we don't want to have to do that. We don't want to have to do that. We barely get paid. But anyway, yes, we are in the courtyard. So you don't have to go into the building. You will see this portal right here that will lead you to the realm of the Ebony Witch. Wow. Okay. So, so it's just kind of like a magical cave here. It's a good magical cave, Tyler. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Everyone was real casual in that courtyard, just kind of walking past like, oh, yeah, that's just the portal to another realm. It's just no the portal deal. to the realm of the Ebony Witch. We've seen it a million times. It's ki- It really it gets old fast, I promise. <sighs> it's not even that cool. They don't even have roller coasters. So all of the animals that you are going to find in this realm are going to be friendly. So even the things that look like the ice wraiths, Totally friendly. Ain't nothing going to hurt you, and so ain't no need to hurt them. Unless they get on my bad side, then maybe I'll slap them around a little. So here is the sort of main house. This player space is really beautiful, but it's not massive. So it kind of all leads you to this main house here. And there is a, a bear who is perpetually sleeping named Winifred, and I think he might just be the best boy. Yeah, in, that's in like the Winnie world, the Pooh. He's the, he's the Winnie the Pooh of, ma- of bears? <laughs> Yeah, because Pooh is a bear. Pooh's name is Winifred. Is it? Yeah. You're fucking Winnie, with me right now, man. No, Winnie you're the fucking Pooh. with me. Winnie the Pooh. Okay, that sort of uh that sort of dark otherworldly uh lighting carries over into the house and I am. Oh, about there's it. an aquarium. Oh, <gasps> Tyler, look at the little fish. Oh, that's cool. That's fantastic. I have never seen this in a mod before. Great oh. work on this one, Neon Eye. That is so creative neon eye that is so cool i love that and even the little treasure chest oh my god mm, mm, chef's kiss i love that the other thing i love that neon eye did with this was mm-hmm. at the bottom of the um mod page it says little side note this mod was created for my girlfriend brag hey just so you guys know i'm getting it wet you aren't <laughs> sure i play skyrim but i'm not an incel like you fucks like honestly such a brag just like made this for my girlfriend and there's like more like you know it was originally meant to be this but just what a what a brag i love that i hey neon i don't ever change i love that love the miniature you can send if you have a spouse there's even a little thief sorry sorry to cut you off there's there's even a little thief on the house there is there's that comes standard with every house there's a little thief on your house there's a little thief on my house Oh, hell, I've been hearing the pitter-patter of some feet. I just didn't know what it was. Exactly. Oh, hell. So you'll be able to spend your send your spouse here. You'll be able to spend uh, children here if you have them. Did you say um, spend? You will Did you say spend to children? Send. I, look, I'm bad at the doing the talking and the words and the, the stuff. Well, it'd be cool if you could exchange your children as a form of currency. Would it? You will need to have the relocate NPC mod if you want to do that. And then there are five followers, and we saw some of them outside because they're all animals. There's the wolf, husky, bristleback, and the cave bear, Winifred. And this, I'm guessing, is the wolf follower. Yep, that is Blizzard. I do think, uh, now that we've kind of looked around the house here, I would like to go uh, explore and uh, get Winifred to be my best friend. Yes. You seem friendly. He just grunts. He's so much cooler than Jan. He couldn't give a fuck last. He's like, hey, you want to you wanna come with me, bud? I think you're really cool. Eh. So he's kind of like Eeyore in that sense. He's like, what does it matter? You're he's, playing a 10-year-old game. He's cool. This bear is cool like Adam Driver, where he's not desperate for people's attention, and that's what makes him so damn sexy. There's just something about him. There's the bristleback. Oh, Ooh, whoa, it's, it's raining, raining here. That's cool. 
I have never seen cutoff locational rain like that, where it's like, oh yeah, just the back gardens. It keeps it perpetually wet, so I get that good crop. That's what good crops sound like. Oh, and this is one oh, this must be the of the witch. two new merchants. So this is the ebony witch themselves, and there is also a ghost. There's a ghost merchant. Oh. All right, so she's got some good stuff in there. She's she's com she's comfortable with her body, and she should be. I'm just... So, I'm just a little uh, uh, a little taken aback by it. I want to find Ghost because the Ebony Witch sells a unique ring, but Ghost Ooh. sells two new unique weapons. Ooh. So there's a sword and a bow. Oh, well, I bet this leads to Ghost, Tyler. That would make sense, you know. Yep, there's Ghost the Dragon. Oh, okay. I guess I probably should have known that Ghost the Dragon... Yeah, was a dragon. Dumb, pretty dumb of you for not knowing that. I don't I thought it was just like a fucking like dorky ass medieval name like oh, I'm the dragon, you know? Not I'm a I'm a physical dragon. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Like it was like almost a title that went along with the name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're that was pretty dumb of you. So th the worm's bow and the worm's blade, those must be the two new uh new items for us here. Oh, that's cool. You can just, I love this. This is a very, what a, what a charming, like, you know, it says realm, but they did like neon. I did a great job of making it contained, but fully populated in a satisfying way. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't need to be the biggest thing in the world. No. To be like a functional, nice mod. It can be contained right. like this in a smaller area and be just as good. Are yeah, those just giant lush. bowl yeah, netches? these are some, uh, some netches. I hate their design. I really do. Yeah, they look like little nightmare monsters. Well, Tyler, we've got quite the gang of followers with, uh, with the mods we've shown off today. Yeah, the followers are kind of the best part. No, God, the atmospheres are the best part. Look at how cute he is. He just loves sleeping. He loves it. God damn if he ain't just the cutest damn thing around. We got a cute bear. We got a goth GF that I'll be back to her shop just to just to see her. And we've got a mostly nude witch. Like, there's a lot going on in this episode. And frankly, I am all about all of them. Great suggestions today. And if you, the viewer, have any mods you'd like to see on future episodes, please let us know. You can find me on Twitter at LurkingLion. I will be at Subtly Cool or the best place to suggest mods going to be in the comment section here or mm -hmm. on our discord we have a channel specifically for requesting mods that yes we you do. the viewer want to see now mm -hmm. discord is going to also be your place for podcast topic suggestions wait sure you guys is. have a podcast how do you not know about that it goes up every friday it's called basis claims you can find it on all of your favorite podcatchers and if you don't listen to it i'm so fucking serious oh tyler no 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 you're not gonna harm anyone if you don't listen to it uh you know that's that's fine we really wish you would but gosh i think you'd like it um but no harm will come to you or your loved one thanks for watching we'll see you next tuesday bye we can't make that guarantee that you will not meet an ill fate if you don't listen to the podcast. Fuck Susan Weshahugi.